has there been a time where you've been caught or something's happened where it's evidence of you shoulder shaking, where you <laughs> somewhere, hit someone in the forehead and it was meant to be your fault? I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever had a close call? I had to move out of my previous <laughs> I was living telling arrangement it, okay. because I <laughs> on the table there. So yes, my shoulder shaking has caused a problem. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of No Rules. I know, I know. You lot are watching thinking, whoa, Specs is dropping No Rules this year. Because Tigo told me a fact. Tigo said to me that last year we dropped uh, 11 episodes in 2022, which is almost like once a month, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, but almost. It's so cold that I had to get like a, some heat. I had to bring some heat into No Rules. You know what I mean? You, when you bring somebody that's hot, because you know we like to talk about sin scenarios. I've got a serious scenario in the house. You really want to be honest, that's why. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nikki Cruz. <laughs> we say special guest. This is a special guest. No, this yeah. is, yeah, this is, I mean, last time I said situation, forget situation, that's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a serious scenario. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what a scenario is? A scenario? Yeah. In terms of, no, I don't. No. Oh, uh, no. So Specs, <laughs> Specs has different categories for beautiful women. That's right. We have scenarios, <laughs> situations, predicaments, and more me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's castle. Yeah, it's good. It's unique. It's good. Okay. So you would fall in under the scenario. Scenarios, right. um, we would say like brunettes. Yeah. Are you naturally a brunette? I am. Mm. And then we've got situations who I mean, are, the eyebrows do match the curtains, if yeah. that's what you're- Oh yeah, that's, what, that's how you check. Yeah. It's how you can check. It should, yeah, I mean, unless I was like, had red hair and then wanted like red brows, I might shock you. Yeah, there's a lot now, a lot of people, a lot of girls dye their yeah. eyebrows blonde and they look yeah. like they've got like Robocop face. So it's hard to tell, isn't it? So if you're in a situation, but you've got predicament eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> it means your pubes are predicament, it means you are really a predicament, right? Okay, I understand wow. the whole analogy so well <laughs> after that. <laughs> <It's not laughs> that. I'm here, <laughs> I'm present. <laughs> Nikki Cruz, she's a legend. Hey, listen, uh, crowd, some of you, uh, like, I was on a train today and someone said to me, Specs, man, I've been watching you since 2016. Um, and I was like, right, oh, you ain't got nothing to do. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I ain't been watching me since 2016. <laughs> but if you have, then you would know that, you know, Nikki was with me on holiday once. She speaks Spanish, of course. And she once lifted me up. All right, listen, I'm going to pick her up right now and I'm going to squat her. Watch this. <laughs> I, what I say, manifestation, what I say, I'm going to do. So I said, look, you're coming on no rules, didn't I? You did. You're right? And we're here, manifestation. And then I said, I'm going to make a, a big <laughs> freestyle song. The song's done. Yeah. <laughs> you never asked me about that. Oh yeah, did you, how, like, what'd you figure that? Yeah, it's good. Is it? Yeah, but you never, you never like, we need to make a video. You just wait. Because I was thinking summertime. Because it, it, when, it, when it's very cold, for minus three degrees, you know, the schwong starts to just, have you heard it? Shrink. I heard a <laughs> sample. <laughs> How? <laughs> I've got ins. Don't yeah, don't question her it. Her name's on it. Are you gonna be in the video? Do you know where in Canada Nikki's from? I'm gonna guess. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's you're close. On. It's, it's close, close to Canada. It? Yeah. It's close to Canada. It's not in Canada. What does it begin with? C. C. It's really, isn't it? C, 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 the Toronto, C, 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 damn. Tell me. Calgary. I've never heard of Calgary. That's where Brother Him and Hearts from. People Cal say Calgary. 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 Calgary's in Italy, T. That's Cagliari. I've never heard of Calgary. Oh yeah. Calgary. There's also one in Texas randomly, but yeah. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. You're from Cagliari. Calgary. <laughs> Calgary. Alberta, Canada. Yeah. That's where Brother Hit Man Heart is from. Why is it? Oh, hold on one second. Why did it sound like someone's name? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean, Calgary, Dale? I, I know it is that because of Brother Hit Man Heart. It's the only reason I know it is Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But it's like yeah. saying London or like, I don't know, uh, somewhere, Surrey, uh. England. But Bret Hart yeah. 
it's from there. <laughs> one, 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 one second, one second. One, you just, the way you spoke to me at Bret Hart, it's like you know him. Do we, do we hold that to remember the rest of the team? Or do you want to start it now? Now there's information here, let's, let's follow it through. How do you know who Bret Hart is? Because I went to the same uni as him, like after, like years after. Years after. <laughs> let's let's clarify this, okay? I'm not like a milf. <laughs> where where is he gone? <laughs> he's literally disappeared. To us, he's disappeared. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> you know, usually when I disappear, I come back with no clothes on. So just be, just be careful. That's just the warm up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who gets me. <laughs> Bret Hart went to a uni. Mm. So before I went there, it was actually still a college mm -hmm. when he went. That's how I know who I he is. I was literally gonna ask how the hell does what he studied and what you study crossover. That's but what yeah, I'm okay, saying. that makes sense. It doesn't. Do we know what he studied? I actually do not. I'm googling it. So, no, do you, so in 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 this uni, was there like posters of Bret Hart? Like this guy is the one, the only one that made it successful at this uni. No. It was just like a funny tidbit of knowledge that you just like acquired one day when you were roaming the halls. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like one of those things that like someone told me, mm. like, and I can't remember who. But the Hitman Hart. Do you remember him? Do you actually remember him as a wrestler? Well, no. <laughs> I'm I'm too young. Yeah. He was a loser because he took wrestling too seriously. <laughs> he did take wrestling seriously. Very, he took it very seriously. But you know, I think there were some photos of him in the gymnasium there. I just didn't use the uni gym very much, but. Yeah. Surely when you was there, he came back to have a chat. Cause that's what they like to do. They like to go back to the uni to be like, look at me. <laughs> I took wrestling seriously. It's what you don't need to do. Did you, did, did you ever catch him or see any flyers of Bret Hart coming back? No, but honestly, I was so immersed in the lab. Like I was studying science. So I was like, just in the books. <laughs> I was like doing that. And I, <laughs> that's where I was at. Having Bret Hart in the lab, it, does, it makes no sense. Anything. No, 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 I don't think. You're dealing with electricity, like <laughs> negative and positive. But Bret Hart is there in pink, right? <laughs> Where's, yeah, it makes sense. What science did you study? Cellular and molecular biology. So that's just a bunch of words. That just means cells and oh, biology. Is sperm part of molecules? So basically my degree, okay, so basically cellular and molecular biology, I studied cells, yeah, mm -hmm. like the basic fundamental unit of life, mm -hmm. and I studied also genetics. So the molecular biology, meaning like the study of DNA, uh, disease, cancer, oh. inheritance, all this, back to like evolution, so it's a broad spectrum, but that's what that all means. And so, yes, sperm has a cell, it is made of, it is a cell. I told you. I got my, I got my, I got my GSEs. <laughs> and that little f swims. Yeah, right. See, that's the part I didn't like in science. Because I was, obviously, I remember when I was, you know, young, I was a huge, huge um, shoulder shaker. And I felt like with sex education, they spoiled that, you know, that thrill of mine. Because I now go to a science class and I see a human body, but they show me the muscles, the veins, everything that's inside. And then they want to talk about the sperm. And now that all looks painful to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the thrill of actually <laughs> sex, etc. and they bear them days. <laughs> like what looks painful? Like, what do you mean? Like it just, Yeah, they had like these drawings of like, you know, like missionary position, the right. best. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> they had this like, you know, animation of, you know, the man on top of the woman and he's just moving, moving. And then. <laughs> and I was just like, nah, man. Like when you, if I think, if I think, think of sex like that, yeah. I don't want to have sex. Me too. But yeah, just watching that animation, nah, it's not for me. And then it became for you. Oh, of course it, it became for me. I mean, and it became for you too, because you. Did you have a w over those sex books? Those educational books? Nah, I had a book. But did it wasn't, you ever? Yeah, it was. Be honest, did you ever? Nah, nah, that, that oh, was, oh, yeah. But I did have a book though. <laughs> it was a diff, it was, it wasn't animation. Okay. It was a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I used yeah. to hijack magazines from the top <laughs> shelf of a sweet shop, <laughs> take it under my bed, and do dun do dun do dun do dun do dun do dun. Headboard shaking. Your bed. Oh, no, just like under, uh, under my covers. Oh, okay. You know what's done though? I never used to do my covers. So I'll hide, the, uh, like, I'll put the magazine under the pillow, <laughs> go to school, and Mumsy will change the sheets, and I'm thinking she ain't seen it. She's seen every page, man, I'll tell you that now. But yeah, man, there was, there was a lot of patch. Toothpaste, I used to say, like, what's that? <laughs> toothpaste. 
why are you brushing your teeth in the bed? Sometimes I just do that. <laughs> it helps me with my homework in the morning. Um, yeah, so. Are you a shoulder shaker, by the way? Of course. Yeah, of course. Like, no, but are you, are you, are you like me? Is it a problem? <laughs> like sometimes I do, I do it too much. Like, what it, define too much shoulder shaking? Because I don't see, like, is it getting in the way of, like, work and, like, like responsibilities? It's, a very, it's very good. It's the best question someone's ever asked me, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no big freestyle video. <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Do you know what it is with me? I would have one. I, I would go, you know, I would sweat, do a strong shoulder shake at 1 a.m. 1.15, I'm done. 125, I mean, you know, my swung is ready to go sleep till the next day. And I will argue <laughs> with my swung, like, hey, we've got to go one more. 125, but it's the second one's longer. So 125 till like 205 a.m. Oh, wow, that's really long. <laughs> that's a, that's wow. But I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it because, yeah. you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching next videos and, and adverts popped up well, whilst I've sucked. So, you know, I'm car from warehouse, so my squeak. Yeah, it's just like, oh, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, <laughs> I've spoiled somebody's phone. So <laughs> I go again, you know, mm -hmm. I have to, I, I need an hour wait now because obviously Swang needs to nap. So I'll go like 2.55 a.m. And that's my third one. And now it's even longer. It's not the same. But I, I then I realized, look, there's a problem here. You think, is, is anything wrong with that? I'm concerned, first of all, is that the official name? For my, uh, for I call it Swung, yeah. Yeah, that's the official name. Yeah, okay, what do you think it. of that? Swung. <laughs> Let's keep my opinion out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's definitely not a Swung. <laughs> that sounds, it sounds massive, yeah, it does sound massive. It sounds like a weapon, like, it sounds like this thing's swung. gonna like, is it? sit down. Oh, I'll change it. <laughs> Shabango. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. But yeah, it's just, I think I have a problem. That's competitive shoulder shaking is what you're talking about. You're competing yeah. with yourself. Well, you should have shake two Tigo, but you're going to say no anyway. No, nah, it's been a long time. So three times in one day, is that a lot? Is that too much? <laughs> What's the most you've done in one day? Oh, I have no idea. I could never know. More than five. Oh, yeah. But you have to remember, I like also record myself doing this for my job so like that's also i'm also like working and having orgasms and <laughs> it's a lot of takes yeah a lot of angles so should i record myself as well then this is why you wanted me here isn't it? <laughs> no i'm just I need, I need to of course i need to hire my game in it but this is the first guest we've had that showed us the levels everyone else just does it with hands you know just done but if i need to record myself and you know filter and paris and look at it i'll do it would you would be your first video, like your first like solo, like shoulder shaking. What would be your setup? Like, would you just be in bed there, like the that's typical the thing, man? Thing or that like is what spoils it for for me is like. I mean, I've got a gaming chair, so sitting on a gaming chair is that your like, spot? This is what I was trying to get at. Where's your spot? Is he a shower guy? Or? Okay. I have to. I have to be like in this in the L shape. Mm -hmm. I the L shape, yeah, <laughs> like, like how I'm sitting down. Seated. I call this L shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, seated. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be in the L shape. I've got, you know what I mean. I'm an L. I'm a, I'm an L man. I can't, I can't lie down on bed and do it. But I like to be sitting down on the toilet, gaming chair, um, and st obviously standing up. Some, some people in the crowd stand up. But everyone, again, everyone's got their own, you know. Yes, yeah, different techniques for different folks. I think three times a day is acceptable. So long as each time is enjoyable, you're not <laughs> giving yourself injuries mentally or physically. <laughs> yeah, but what about three like, times a day, two days in a row? I mean, I guess it depends on your lifestyle and your days. Like, but it's, it's men and women are different actually. So maybe for a dude, because you like you have to ejaculate and all that, and like that's a whole like the like that's a whole big thing. And they have to work up to the next one, whereas. Women can just come over and over and over again. So maybe for a dude, yeah, maybe like two times a day might but be. But women are kind of cheating though, let's be honest. Like with me, it's this. My weaker hand feels like somebody else is doing it. <laughs> you don't have a pocket? I don't have a pocket. What's that? Like, explain them. What's that? Is that like a, like a dolly? Like a, like a, like a sleeve, like a... No, no, I mean, in, I feel like in this country, that's not the thing, man. Oh, what? you're crazy. T, come on. 
This is massive in this, in this country. country. <laughs> D, have you ever done that before? Dylan's got one. Have you ever done that before? Hundred. Put your put, put put your finger in a coke bottle and <laughs> ram yourself into it <laughs> until the bottle just. <laughs> done that. See, have you? Never. No, do you know what I'm saying? I don't okay. think, I think we're probably, I'm, Dylan's lying by the way, but I think, <laughs> I think we're unique. But you can get it molded. See, I don't like, I want to do that soon of me. Like you go in and you get it molded. So they exactly take the shape and everything of your and then they make like a whole thing. So then you can sell it as merchandise and blah, blah, blah. And then people can have that huh? fantasy. Yeah. There's a lot of like adult stars who have sex toys molded around their private parts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, cause get, let me get this straight, because remember, my, my, my brain is just, it's just, it's just standing up now. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying that you can have your private parts in this bottle for me, and I can take it home, and it's mine. Yeah. It will still feel like silicone. It, it won't necessarily feel like a woman. Should I give it a go? Maybe. Which part? I think it's gonna be for me. It's gonna be. It's gonna be very. There's gonna be a lot of error going on because, because I'm sitting down in the L shape, so I'm gonna have to be. <laughs> Again, how big is this shabango? <laughs> You're coming from up here. How big is it? I'm going to have to be... Nikki, can you help him out by explaining how the process works? Because if I explain it right now, it's going to sound like oh! I'm someone who does it. <laughs> we got him. We got you. He's missing a fundamental part of why it's designed the way it's designed. Like, okay, so... Do you honestly not know what these look like? No. These pocket... So it looks like I'm a... wearing glasses. It looks like a tube, like a tube, mm -hmm. and then at the one, like a flashlight. Mm -hmm. Have you heard it called that? Flashlight, yeah. Flesh? Flesh light. Light? It's called a flashlight because it looks like a flashlight torch. Right. With a vagina at the Fuck top. Flip it, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it just like, it's like this tube structured thing. And then at one end is like the vulva, like the outside bits, like the lips, the clit, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then obviously there's, it's like silicone and it's like very squishy and stuff. So it's like meant to feel nice and you can just lube it up and then there's a hole in there yeah, like a I, vagina. I need, I'm, I'm gonna need legs with that. Well, you can, get, you can get that too, but I totally get it. Listen, I'm just, I was just curious if you were a manual, if you were like a pocket type. Yeah, I'm a, so I'm definitely, a man, I'm definitely a manual. No equipment. Shoulder shaker. I've never. No ingredients. I've never even used Vaseline. <laughs> That means sort of shaking. I said I wasn't going to do it this year. I might as well just take it to another level this year, man. <laughs> Why not? It's like, you only live once, man. Wait, so you were on a ban? You're on I a ban myself, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, Nikki, honestly, I've been shoulder shaking, let's say, well, it was 2023 since 2000. 23 years of grip galore. <laughs> <laughs> Now <laughs> you got remember I was watching Sex Cetera laid bare them days. I used to fancy a woman called uh, I think it was her name, is it Kate Reed? Or Suzanne, I can't remember her name, but yeah, but it's like a Susan predicament on one of those shows. <laughs> I don't know who that is. And what they, they used to on, on Sex Cetera they used to have two guys on the mics. Yeah. Like at the front and there'll be six guys on the back and my eyes used to squeeze past them. <laughs> I couldn't see them, but I could see this little hole or gap of these two just shaking. Like I'm, I've got a serious, you know, um, well, I had a serious problem. Yeah, I suppose there, there is an element to which it can be a problem. But it's not just a problem for me. It's a problem for, it's a problem for Tigo, it's a problem for Dylan, it's a problem for the crowd, it's a problem for Reggie. But, but the thing about people, they don't want to admit it. Admit what? That they, you know, shoulder shake to all these, I mean, to porn. It's a big business. Yeah, that doesn't make it a problem. Have you ever like risked it for a cracker? So that means- Have I done what? I'm fascinated to hear the answer to this question because I know a good story. For a but cracker? This is where we're gonna go into it now, Nikki. Yeah. Uh, you know, Matt, you, you're probably not gonna tell the story, okay. All right, so Nikki, um, again, remember, remember the show's called No Rules. So the only people that see it is me, UT, Dylan, Reggie, and some crowd, that, some small crowd that are in Gambia somewhere. <laughs> in Gambia. Yeah, their Wi Fi is <laughs> Don't worry on about and it. off. Don't worry. Don't about worry. It. <laughs> Files will get lost. But um, so basically, for example, you know, I was shoulder shaking at home and my mum used to work in boots, so she's left. And uh, she usually takes the, you know, she takes the car. But what she done, she took her car, parked it around the back, and was still in the house. So I'm thinking that she's gone to work. So I'm. And she's come through on the phone on FaceTime saying, no, say hello to your uncle. I had to throw 
must swung out the window <laughs> and speak to my uncle <laughs> and then use a fishing rod <laughs> to get back out and go again. So I risked it. I risked it there because I nearly got caught shoulder shaking. Has there been a time where you've been caught or something's happened where it's evidence of you shoulder shaking, where you <laughs> somewhere, hit someone in the forehead and it was meant to be your fault? I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever had a close call? I had to move out of my previous <laughs> oh, living arrangement okay. because I s***ed <laughs> on the table there. So yes, my shoulder shaking has caused a problem. <laughs> so, so you're living with your flatmate and you end up squirting where? On the kitchen table. Like from, from the sofa to- like <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Like I'm on all fours on the, on the kitchen table. You know, I've got my- section to it i'm riding my filming myself obviously and then also squirting so that i just flipped over went on my i was like sitting i guess i was on my back and i used my toy and made myself squirt all over the kitchen table it's quite big it's like more it's longer than this table and so there's like this puddle as well yeah like the camera like like it's it's on my twitter now um the camera goes down and you <laughs> you just see this like Get, go, <laughs> pause this and go there <laughs> pause this and go there crowd so yeah i posted that on twitter and then hours later my flatmate at the time was like hey someone just sent me this they recognize the kitchen <laughs> what the I'm like, yes. first of all, she was shoulder shaking to me already behind the scenes and we all like, that's okay. <laughs> that's normal. I what? mean, how did she see that so quickly? Yeah. Like, I don't know. My Twitter's not private, it's easy to see. I'm like, mm. or have you have you had a little peek before, yeah. you know? Yeah. Only fans, At the Twitter subscriber. goods. Yeah. That's, that's a rubbish trick in it. Somebody sent this to me. That that's totally silly totally for you can't say that anymore. Right? You said it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like you were turned on and then you were f***ed up about it and then you were turned on and then you were f***ed up about it and you didn't need to know. Like, So she was concerned that it was her kitchen table and she didn't know how she was meant to like eat off there and work off there. And meanwhile, there's people who would pay a lot of money just to even, you know. Be in the same room. Yeah, like, so I... I just thought it was, um, yeah. And in my defense, okay, I understand. <laughs> maybe it was a bit in your face. But in my, in my defense, okay, the table, you can bleach, you can wipe down, you can clean off. It's a hard surface. That's actually quite hygienic. Whereas like the sofa, had I been all over the sofa splashing around, that gets absorbed. Yeah. You got to wait. That's about 12 hours till that wet stain is dry. Usually, maybe 18. Depends on how, what, what the like or what I'm like that day, you know? So you were being considerate. Exactly. You said, that like, kitchen table, just grab yeah, some- a table can be replaced. Grab some Dettol wipes, we're good. A, t a table can be replaced though, I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, if, it, oh, okay, let's do it like this. Mm. You, <laughs> no, someone's- Me, yeah, me, yeah, yeah, no, me, yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, Remember yeah, when you. you used to live with Dazza? Yes. Right, <laughs> you cut, you're out. Someone sends you a video from Daz's Twitter. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut you there. Yeah, go on. Daz's eyes are extremely yellow. <laughs> so we have a problem there. I don't know what he's gonna push out of his body. Cause he's burst all over the, you know what I mean? Daz's been banging a bird in it, Daz. You banged the bird in his house, Daz. You're out. <laughs> all right, but that's not what happened. <laughs> of course it's what happened. So <laughs> There's birds all over the place. <laughs> so what are you talking about, T? If your eyes are yellow and your are shaking, shaking, it's bird shit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look love. All right, so but, but someone sends you a video from Daz's Twitter, and it's a preview to his uh, OnlyFans channel, and it's him shoulder shaking, and then knocking one out right on your kitchen table in your flat when you two live together. What are you doing? Uh, uh, first of all, I'm not messaging Daz that. Somebody. Text me this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm doing. I'm getting my phone out. I'm recording everything. And this guy in a filthy group, really. <laughs> first, yeah. Yeah, first. <laughs> then he has to come on no rules. I'll expose him there. <laughs> <laughs> and then after six weeks of destroyment in fil on the filthy channel, and then um, I'll say to him, bro, I'll go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave. But I won't tell him why I'm leaving. I think you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll just say I'm having a baby somewhere. Okay? 
<laughs> are you eating off that table? Yeah, but like, if, so if he's, if he's done it here, <laughs> flip the table upside down. <laughs> eat from Jerry, my tea. So you can understand why my flatmate, why I had to leave that. But if, if she's, if she is a shoulder shaker, then she's a hypocrite. Because she's jealous that you squirted and she can't. That's the truth. You don't know that she can't. Prove it if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any triggers? Is there anything like with me? Like for example, if I'm on Twitter, I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. It's 11 o'clock. I've just had my, you know, uh, my breakfast. People know already. Water with porridge. And I come across Sneaky, you know, and she's doing the splits in the air. Bang, that's a trigger for me. That's a trigger for me to now check check my mirrors, see who's in the house, whatever call, lock myself in the toilet, type in uh, go next videos and type in splits in the air. I don't care if it's a BBW, CBW or GBW. <laughs> as long as she's upside down, I just picture Nikki and I show the shake. That's my trigger. Do you, is, is there any triggers for you? Um, Like instant turn ons? Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that how we're gonna, okay. Yeah, um, yeah definitely like, big that's that's my thing just a big proper girthy veiny you know i might be getting too into it but veiny? all that yeah <laughs> you want you want a swung with a line on it like i want this mother <laughs> to have its own like like <laughs> like gravitational pull it's so like i want the do like yeah the yeah so you know f for, for my friends that are watching who have got the the um like it's just it's tiny Pika, don't laugh. <laughs> Pika, don't laugh. <laughs> you come across, when you come across small, you know, strong, what, like, what, what do you do? Do you be like, you know what? You, you, you play there? You play sick? Or do you, what do what you do? Do you still deal with small? No. So if, if the, if the, if the is tiny. What's tiny? The yeah, but. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, that would only ever happen in the scenario that I'm seeing a client, right. that they're paying, right? I'm not seeking out that for my own personal right. enjoyment or for my videos. Who wants to watch with a shrimpy, right? Yep. Everyone in my industry is hung. <laughs> hung low, as Bernie Mac said once. <laughs> not that we kink so, shame, so if there's people no. that do like, they can, they'll find it somewhere. True, that's actually true. There's not everyone, in, that's very, yeah. But um, for me personally, I'm looking for size. So if I have something smaller, it'll be in a client situation. And like, it's nice to get creative. You know, my feet come in handy. You know, it, you know I, there's still a way to do it. There's still a oh, way to show, to show these men some love. You right. know, that's fine. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say I don't because like that's, part of my job. I'm not gonna have only clients coming in and booking me when, who are like, I've got these massive <laughs> like, you know. So I, I can, but there's just different methods, you know? Like, so where, uh, when I'm like filming or whatever, it's always like two hands. It's, you know, there's a lot of involvement. I usually get quite sweaty. It's quite production, like it's a hard work. I call it sexercise for a reason. Mm. But then, you know, the, these other, it's more, tender loving you know it doesn't it's not as athletic because when you're you know one of your slogans is size matters and I actually put that in my bars I took that from from you by the way size matters if I make an OnlyFans page I'm gonna need five wide cameras that was my line does size really matter honestly um <clears throat> because sometimes when I'm when I'm watching you know uh you know, like Mr. Black, for example, that brings my confidence down. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because he's got a spinal cord, he's got a vein. <laughs> <laughs> I just have cells or something. I don't know what, I don't know what I've got. Like a line from how I cut myself no. when I was cutting my pubes or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I think um, yes and no to answer that. I think like there's certain times where I'm just craving the feeling of being stretched out. And in that instance, like I need a big or I need a big fat like one of the two because like there's just sorry, like that's what I need. But then sometimes that's not what I need. And, you know, women are lucky because we can orgasm in so many different ways. Like 
it doesn't always have to be about being fully stretched out. So, you know, like, yes and no. I have had the most mind-blowing orgasms from small <laughs> clients. You guys, you go, boys. Keep going, man. That's good. They show me attention, you know, like every, not a single part of my body is left, like, unkissed or untouched or unwhatever. And that is, like, beats just being pounded hard. Like, yeah, just make sure I've come, like, three, four, five, six times, whatever. It like, takes six times. That's what you're saying. One one big <laughs> is equivalent to six orgasms with a small That's that. I, I just mean, like, make sure I'm well happy. Like, make sure you can tell that I'm, like, okay, I'm, like, I'm so good. It's your turn now. That's, that's, I think that's the most embarrassing thing, being in them situation. I remember T, you was telling me, <laughs> I told you, did I? Go on, yeah, go on. What did I tell you? No, you was you you was you was having sex and you were done, and she asked you, "You're finished," and you thinking, and obviously your swung was already gone by now. <laughs> but it's a struggle that a lot of guys have. Like it's like, no, you finished. <laughs> Don't let me down. You start arguing with your swung. Yeah. Come on, man, please. She's looking at me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you first started uh, your career, you started self filming, right? Yeah. Everything was how big of a change was it when you went into like studios and when it was other production elements to your work? I mean, I've only ever done a couple of like mainstream um, scenes, but it's a whole different ball game. It feels more like work, like it feels like a proper day on set. Whereas filming your own content, you know, it's like the two of you meet up, you've decided like, equally that you both want to be there. Whoa, whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. So you so you can w walk up and see someone and be like, hold on, I want to film with you. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how every single person oh, that wow. I've ever worked with, I've messaged with them on like Twitter before oh, or okay, whatever, okay, oh, okay. you know, seen their work, we network and stuff. And then it's like, would you like to collab? Yeah, like whatever. So then you both know that you're already horny for each other and you already like each other's style of work and whatever else, or like have this attraction, whatever it is. That's class, that's like scouting. Isn't it basically, isn't it? That's amazing. So I really like that. I love the freedom of choosing um, who I do and don't want to work with, like, you know, down to it. It's like you're your own little mini producer when you're making your own content for like OnlyFans, for example. Like you really just choose the scene. You book the hotel room. You choose the outfit, like the cot, the lingerie, blah, blah, blah. You set up the cameras. It's all your own thing. Whereas when you show up to a production like the Brazzers or whatever. Brazzers! I know Brazzers. Do you? Yeah, no black logo. Do of you? course. <laughs> Brazzers is one of my. I've given them views. I've, I've, I've got them paid. <laughs> Big up Brazzers, man. Have you seen my Brazzers scene? No. Okay. Um, can you uh, can you send it to me? <laughs> hey, send it to me today, please, please. I, I mean, I'm not doing nothing tonight. So, <laughs> you ready? You sure? Okay. Oh my you promise. god. Okay, oh cool. my god. So funny. <laughs> I don't know, but you just show up and it's like you're on set, you know, you've like, it's, it's just a whole different vibe. So I personally like content creation more. Right. Do you mm -hmm. represent yourself like, yeah, in, and you just literally accept and decline every offer you get yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I'm completely self-managed, self-represented for, for like content, for adult videos, um, as well as for escorting and everything. Oh wow! Completely. So, so when you when you're doing these scenes, do you have to like? Because obviously, I, I, I was acting last year, so I'm trying to pitch everything. So you know, like with acting, you gotta redo the same scenes from different angles. Is it the same? Uh, more or less. Like for some of the more intro scenes, yeah. Like you know, because they'll have a they'll have a whole story, won't it? It'll be uh, like. I but the the porn stories. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, you're obviously, it's not your fault. I'm just yeah. talking to Hoof Hefner. He's the one that who owns who owns porn, by the way. T. Rothschild. <laughs> yeah, this Rothschild. Yeah, the storylines in porn annoy me every time. Annoy me every like the house is getting burgled. Yeah, she's looking at the window. The burglar's outside the window. The burglar looks at her. She turns around and touches the floor. <laughs> the camera now shows her booty. He climbs in. She's like, oh. he shows a swung. Okay, let's go. Well, now, what kind of burglar? 
Change his mind for that. Just change the scene a it's bit. It's true. <laughs> change the scene a bit. I don't like storylines and porn. What is the thing that I like to watch? I've got so. <gasps> Masseuse. <laughs> Are you kidding? I already, I already know what this is about when she's lying with the towel. <laughs> I know she's come for a massage. <laughs> he's coming. He's already on the semi. He's swung. He's got his head on his trousers. I know what time it is. The cream, he's rubbing, da, 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 turn around. I love that. That is my category. Okay. I don't care who it is. It doesn't have to be interracial. I don't care who. If it's a white I can imagine it's mine. If it's a black it's mine, wherever. That's me. What's your category? Ooh. Um, I really like big I like... I like other women a lot. Like, I love threesomes. For me, I'm actually quite, like, when it comes to my own masturbating, I don't really watch something at the same time. Like, I don't oh. really actually... Imagine it. All, all imagine, imagination. Mm -hmm. So would you, would you reminisce, like, a scene yeah. of... Yeah. Sometimes oh. when I'm editing my own, I'll be like, holy f this is hot, and I'll just, like, stop and masturbate and then finish editing it, or whatever. <laughs> That sounds so narcissistic, I know, but it's really not like that. Like, sometimes it's just hot and you remember how like good it felt and like whatever, you're like reliving it. Like it is like super hot. Um, but other than that, I actually don't really like consume anything while I masturbate. It's all up in my head. Uh, there's this thing I, I, I see with them porn guys, the, especially the black guys, they all take their clothes off, yeah. but high socks workman and, and workman boots. Never, I never understood that. People must like it. Put Astros on our side of the team. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I never understood the boots. I don't either. And I'm like, aren't their feet sweaty inside exactly. there? You just said Astros. I've, I don't think I've ever seen football. I have. Have you? The Brazilians. Yeah, the Brazilian. When I typed in Brazilian, there were some girls, big breasts, big mosocos. I, I don't like big bums, like personally. Oh. I like like Toshib, like uh, my fingers Toshiba. Oh, wow. I like flat bumps. Oh, so are you are, I'm super not your category then. Oh, you, you know, you will always be my category. <laughs> but, you know, we still need to show love <laughs> to the no bum girls. Well, I don't mind a Chico with a cute little Oh, no, little he's, he's peach, talking yeah. Toshiba laptop. He's talking. Like, like, yeah. That's oh, the, wow. Toshiba, la yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like when you go and slap it, you miss every time. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's the unexplored category. Maybe that's yeah. the one. What's what, mi the Miss Banks to she? To she slaps. Miss Banks. <laughs> <laughs> to she slaps. That's a great new category. Miss Spanks. I might actually get creative with that one. You know. Do you know Ella Hughes? Do you know Ella Hughes? No, I no, don't, don't know her no, personally. Okay. No. I know who she is, but I don't know her okay. personally. Yeah, I hope you're watching, man. I've got a new, uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a problem, come on, I'm saying something. <laughs> I think I'm getting closer to being a star soon, though. Soon. Because I've done, I've been to sex parties, like I said. Okay. And he's shaved his pubes for the first time in his life. For the first time in my life. How did that go? Ooh, that was, I mean, I'm not sleeping right now. <laughs> I, I got two hours sleep last night because, you know, I'm, I'm in a dream. I'm in a telephone box, you know, seeing all these little cards of women. I'm in the stream thinking, yes, I'm about to have a wet dream again. And all of a sudden there's somebody just throws a dart <laughs> right where my pubes are. <laughs> I'm dead, just body popping, <laughs> four in the morning. Oh my God. Then I'm like, right, this is a lot. Cause once you scratch one area, all of a sudden your hemorrhoid starts to itch you too. Or you can't scratch it, so you don't explode something. So now I get in the shower at 5 a.m. So you were showering at 5 a.m. because you were itchy? Yeah, because I cut, basically I cut all the hairs down. <laughs> like, so now they're coming back up through the skin yeah. and it's destroying me, man. Yeah, you need to exfoliate. So Nikki, how did you get from Calgary to London? Oh my gosh. Um, I, well, I first lived in Oxford when I moved to the UK. So I was working I successfully completed my cellular and molecular biology degree. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, you have to, man. Good reason, man. You have to. Yeah, no, that was really good. And then I actually, I was going to go to medical school with it, but instead I went to the UK and um, started working in Oxford in medical research. Um, there's just, there's a lot more funding in the UK. There's a lot more opportunity. You can be employed 
after the point of undergraduate completion. So as a Bachelor of Science holder, I qualified for these jobs. Whereas in North America, in a lot of places in the world, you need like at least like you need a PhD to be doing research. So this was like an amazing experience for me and it got me out of the Arctic. Like I just mm -hmm. was like, yeah, London's not warm by any means, but it's not warmer. Why not move to the UK? you know, practice in this field, whatever, do some research. And then the lockdown happened. I wasn't doing any sex work at the time. I was in a relationship and um, with a British guy. And then I ended up, yeah, the lockdown happened and then ended up getting bored of the relationship and the job. <laughs> so got rid of both, ri well, got rid of the relationship first. And then started up my OnlyFans because I was like, woo, like I can do this now. Like I, I had thought about it before. I had been a sex worker in my past before moving to the UK. So then now being in the UK, being single again and being like, oh, I can start up an OnlyFans since this thing had become big. I was like, let's do it. And I just really thought I was just going to sell like some nudes on the side while I kept pursuing my career in science. And I was like, we'll see what comes of it. And then I ended up matching on Tinder with a content creator in the UK here who was like, oh, you've got OnlyFans. Do you want to collab? I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm in front of a camera and absolutely loving it and saying, yes, daddy, I'm your little <laughs> And like. Oh, you, so you, started, you did a scene here? Yeah. Tell me, tell me it was with that guy. What guy? There's a guy, uh, there's an English guy. I see, I forgot his name. But he's got a swung with helmet, everything. <laughs> but he's white, man. What's his Danny name? Danny D. Danny D. That, I, I have filmed with Danny D a few times, a couple times, yeah. But um, that wasn't my first. You got a database of <laughs> Danny D T. When you see his swung, you have to store it. Okay, I, I've not, obviously <laughs> never seen it. Listen, you know what? No, honestly, you know me. I don't care about race, but I'm used to seeing big black. <laughs> When I'm watching the POR, when I'm watching the, no, wait, you have nothing wrong that, but when I'm watching the POR, yeah, I never ever saw a white guy with a swung like that. Never in my life. It's the biggest Me white swung I've seen, right? Me too. Danny D, if, if I'm wrong, come, come in. Obviously, mine's bigger than yours, but if you, if you got a problem with that, <laughs> come sit in. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? But, Danny D, wow. Yeah, no, so he wasn't the first one I filmed with, but yeah, I have. No, so you do that him. first scene. Do the first scene, love it. I'm Is that like, still lockdown 2020? Yeah, that's still okay. lockdown 2020. You've done a fake taxi? No. <gasps> mm -mm. Is that coming? Uh, I don't know. How could, that has to be this country's biggest porn category. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Yeah. And it's not long. You get The editors, Dylan and Bridgie have cut it. <laughs> Cut it quick, six, seven minutes. Have you ever paid for your... Yeah, Television X. Okay, so I'm up through TV. Yeah, I've got stories and st I've got yeah. stories. Yeah. So you've never paid for digital... No, but what I like about the TV, I've paid, innit? But people in my house can't see. There's no search, there's no history. <laughs> Watch on it. There is, but you have to really go into settings and dig deep. <laughs> on your phone and, or, or the laptop or the computer, it's bait. You know, even though you can clear it, it's still bait. So uh, the TV for me is, is great. So great. my challenge for you is rather than cutting out like shoulder oh, this shaking. Is this is tough. This is tough. Mm -hmm. Oh, keeping it, but maybe paying for some of your every you know just just paying for a bit of your to support these people who are literally blowing their backs out <laughs> in front honest, of the camera. I'm, the, the, if you. I'm you know I'm only gonna be paying for two people to be honest. It's Nikki <laughs> Cruz and Ella Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> It's the only people I'm gonna pay for. And Danny D, apparently. <laughs> Danny D, you, you sign up to me. I sign up to you, Danny. It's been a weird few years for um, adult entertainers. I know yes. you're not just an adult entertainer. You, you've got a whole spectrum of stuff that you do. But like, it felt to me like when Mia Khalifa said that she got DM by Drake, it almost became a subcategory of like celebrity through social media, um, where adult entertainers became like more mainstream, yeah. more accepted. So with cameras on, who's the most famous person to DM you? <laughs> <laughs> no rules, don't worry. The, the small amount of people in Gambia. Like, <laughs> don't worry, we've got you. I really cannot say. No, I didn't expect you to. I really cannot but it's, say. But is it someone like a rapper or something? 
footballer, NFL player. Is it? All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boris Johnson. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> That's why he stepped down because he wanted to step up. <laughs> I think I think I think people of today are, are, are very lucky. Like I said, you know, the start of the show, they're very lucky that you've got your phones, uh, you and you've got your thumbs and fingers just to go and find these only fans and these porn things. Because I remember back in, like I said to you, back in the day, it was just magazines. And with magazines, you've got to change, you've got to, you know, change the page. I'm not from the magazine era, so I don't re I don't really understand it. But I always thought paper cuts would be a concern. Yeah, people used to cut out. No, I mean, paper, you ever, have you ever got a paper cut? Oh, yeah, paper yeah, 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 yeah. No, but the, the, what I like about this magazine, it's not one of them, you know the, the, the pages in the middle? Yeah. It was like soft, but it was only the book that was hard. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? The page, you know them kind of books? <laughs> it's not like a comprehension book where every page is hard, or a science book, every page is hard, 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 hard. Ah! It's not none of that. So. Is that, is that real? What, magazines? No, I know <laughs> magazines are real. <laughs> uh, well, how do you think I know about Lulu? Pornographic magazines, they make the pages soft to avoid paper cutting. Your <laughs> I, I'm, I'm assuming so. I'm assu it has to be because every s the next scene is the next page. Yeah. So you've got to use your thumb and finger. Yeah. If you make it hard, your people are going to be sure to shake it in pain. And then there's going to be protests <laughs> and riots <laughs> like in the early 90s. You don't want that. Yeah, the screen's a lot better. And virtual, have you uh, watched any VR? Oh, <laughs> are you talking headphones? I'm talking the whole like virtual like uh, VR. Thing. Uh, that's one thing I'm. I don't think I'm going to step into. That is because I remember watching what film was it? Wesley Snipes puts it on the militia man, and he has sex with the thing on in it. It that's was. That's what it kind of It was um, Sylvester so Stallone, I think. Sylvester so Stallone. Yeah. So I haven't done it yet. Have you? What? Okay, just explain to me because we, we, we've slayed it so many times in the show. How does it feel when you put it on? Like, what, what, what happens? Like, it literally, you are taken to wherever it looks like you are. Like, you actually forget that you're in the room that you're in. So, and you can have sex with these things. So, you are having sex, <laughs> like, with it. Like, if you, so the, the porn on there, it's like basically like you're laying down, your <laughs> is hard, you see it, and like, you know, you've got a woman, a women, whatever, a man, whatever it is, whoever. You've got someone there playing with your d and like about to f*** it and whatever. Like, it's like, you're in the scene. And what you do with your hand, your brain tells you is oh, what's going on. That's in the fun. That's, that's great. Because the virtuals I know and the ones I see in the corner of a screen before I start to my shoulder shake is a dragon. <laughs> so I'm in the hell out of a woman. <laughs> And the dragon swung is just <laughs> attached to the tail. <laughs> and I want that band. If as long as there's no dragons and animals that are just, I'm not, I'm not on that. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> You're talking about hentai. That's put me off with the whole of virtual. Why can't it be a normal virtual, you know what I mean? Lara Croft and Trevor from Grand Theft. <laughs> It's not even that. It's, <laughs> not it's graphics. Actors. Oh, oh, like real, not virtual. Like, like I, like I would like to do a VR scene. So they film me, and then you could watch this scene of me and feel like I was there on top of you, crawling on you in real life and whatever, and playing with your. <laughs> it would be real. It wouldn't be a cartoon animation of me. It would be the full scene, but through this VR headset. And so, do you, so I would, but I would still get. A and that's up to you. I mean, like the the scene I watched, like I'm like I feel like I could like taste this woman. <laughs> what do you mean she was cooking? We <laughs> 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 taste it. She can eat there. If that's what, let me go Thailand. Let me let me go Thailand wearing that thing then. <laughs> and taste their food. <laughs> no, like taste her. Obviously, I, I don't want to. Sorry, I don't want to. I, I don't. I've never ate before in my life. I beg your pardon. The pardon I'm begging you too. <laughs> <laughs> He's childish. I've never had in my life. Will you ever? <sighs> That's a very good question to you. Because I've, I've been arguing myself about it. Mm. He's got rules. Sex rules. There's no they, rules, they, but there are. Exactly. And they do not favour women, these rules. What do you mean they don't favour women? <laughs> they have to favour women for me. Give go, go, go us three rules. All right, first, obviously, I, I don't eat pom-pom. Um, we only can do missionary. 
<laughs> and <laughs> it would be nice of you if you don't go on your knees and suck my d That's the f my free rules. <laughs> what if I went on my stomach and sucked your d uh, Then I'll go on my stomach and block it. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick me up and squat but, you. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't squat me here. <laughs> Do you think wow. that's a bit weird? Oh. No, I mean, I'm not here to shame anyone for what no, shame me. It's not gets them on or shame gets them me. off. If it, change me. Do you want me to change? <laughs> I want you to experience having your <laughs> sucked. And I also want you to experience, yeah, eating. Remember, it was stinging nettles a month ago. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine not a lot of people are just gagging to get down there. If yeah, I mean they no, they get no. I mean obviously the the stinging nose are not show they're not showing <laughs> until the until the seafood boxes are showing. <laughs> but when they when they when they go down, if they're trying to go down, I'm going down too. Really? Yeah, we'll just, you know what I mean? If we're gonna wrestle, we're can gonna I wrestle. Ask why? We're gonna can I ask why? <laughs> like like I feel like I I love giving head. I feel like most. I feel like yeah. I just, a lot you of know what? Love like it. like obviously I've got head before. So when I'm getting head, like I'm standing there and she's down there and and she's. She's sucking me off. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to like. I, where, am I, where, am I, where am I supposed to look? So I'm like, <laughs> and then I look down and she's looking at me. But she's looking at me. Her eyes are always showing me that something's wrong. So I've got to look away. <laughs> and I'm thinking, is your eyes telling, does my stink? Like, why are you looking at me like? <laughs> you mean the whole like, yeah, like that, that, that throws me off, like. <laughs> Undertaker. Yeah, like, is she, is she gonna be okay? She's like, gonna be mean? okay. But it's like, and then, and then I look away. And then the part I hate, when I look away, <laughs> <laughs> sneeze, cough, spit at my swung. <laughs> what has my swung done to you, girl? <laughs> you don't spit at my swung. It's rude to spit at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and then the balls. Oh, the balls. <laughs> are you, are, do you love having them played with? I, 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 my, you see my balls? The skin around my balls is so sensitive. Like, you, you touch it and I feel something here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how sensitive my balls are. Everyone's <laughs> like that. So, I look this way, she spits at me. I'm like, cool, hands up. I look this way, this part starts to hurt. <laughs> Now, she's under my, like, right where the ball sacks. Ah. <laughs> 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 You're tickling me. Why does she want me to laugh in this situation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's, um, it's uh, like, I, yeah, I need... For me to get, I would need someone to kind of tr uh, induction train me. Every day we have this routine. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, so I'm ready. I don't like it when it's unexpected. <laughs> You're not um, one of those who's asking for a girl to like, like rim you and then like jerk you off from the back and like get all like nah, that. No, man, like, like, she's doing all that stuff. And it's, I, I'm, I need, I need like, I need a warning. I written need, permission. Permission, this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm here level one, <laughs> level two, <laughs> level three. I'm on five, I'm gonna do this. I need that. But maybe now that you're groomed, Maybe it's gonna be a new experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of that. That feeling is, 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 is scary. Cause maybe you're gonna have the confidence of like, ain't nothing gonna go wrong here today. Uh, it, it's, 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 I mean, I remember, I remember having sex once, missionary, and um, <laughs> the girl decided to put her hand just right by the bum line, just right by where my hole is. So I'm thinking, what's that? I'm thinking nothing of it. I'm thinking maybe it's the, the back of my jeans, that's cause my jeans are, you know, the bottom of my legs. I'm thinking it's just touching, it's cool. Then she's gone a bit, it's gone in, boom. And there was the a feeling that touched, it was like an electric shock. <gasps> just her thumb was just nearly about to go in that hole. And I felt for me, don't, I said to her, don't do that because I'm scared I'll explode into pieces. <laughs> and you lot will never see me again, I will blow up. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot of sexual things that for me make my body feel a certain way that I'm not used to. And if I'm not used to it, I won't do it. Oh my God. Okay, so in a relationship like, are you, do you ever have like an open dynamic where you're like, uh, sweetheart, I don't like to give head, I don't like to receive head, and I only like mish, but you can go elsewhere if yeah, you want I, I, other things. I was doing that at the start, and then I started, I, I realized that, you know, I was losing a lot of girls because I was, I was flying with women, 1.4 million I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then right. it started to go down, it started to go down because I, st I started saying this 
openly in it. So now I'm like, no, no, I'm gonna do it. Like, so they're hoping they're the first. This is the, so now they're all coming in because they want to be the first. Right. You know what I mean? So now it's yeah. like just 1.4.5 million. So yeah, it's I'm gonna get there, but I'm just, I'm still I'm gonna I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. If you want to. I mean, sex should be like just only about things that you want to do and like that's exciting for you that you want to explore. Like there's not a thing that I've put out there on my OnlyFans. Like every single video I sell is like literally I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I'm there because I want to be like it should be the same thing in your own personal. No, but I think I think, you know, you are showing us that there's, there's more to sex. Like, for example, like squirting, like when girls squirt. You know, that stuff for me is, that turns me on. But you know, like you said that um, big <laughs> porn stars give guys insecurities. Mm. Squirting gives a lot of girls insecurities. Mm -hmm. It's true, there is. Is it? Yeah. Because adult workers, a lot of them know how to or they're blessed in that way or whatever. A lot of girls can't do it. Because I, 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 I had sex missionary. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, good hour, same position. And I, 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 she, I could see she wanted to do doggy style and stuff. I pretended that my groins were getting replaced. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to stay in this position. And I remember, she, you know, she squirted all over my stinger nettles. And I really walked out of the house like Vincent Mann. I, you know, I, I really felt so proud of myself. Like, wow, you, the same position, you really worked the G spot. And that's what you've done. You're, you know what? Stick to that position. That's yours. <laughs> you have to look me in the eye when telling that story. <laughs> Stick to that position. But yeah, it, it does feel good to to know that you've made a woman feel like she's a, a billion bucks. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially by eating the pum pum. See, apparently that's meant to, you know, some women say it's better than sex. Is it? Uh, or does it, make, does it make you, like, will it get you... It's part of it. No? The thing is, yeah, it's part of it. The thing is, like, I love all of it. Like, I, I am a sex worker because I love sex. Full stop. I'm not a sex worker because I wasn't being paid enough in my career or I was desperate or I was broken or whatever. I'm a sex worker because I love it, every single thing about it. And so it, there's no way for me, like, I can't choose oral sex over, like, having penetrative sex. What's oral sex again? Eating and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oral sex. Yeah. Like mouth, oral. Mm -hmm. They always ask me specs. You do oral sex. I was like, huh? Well, uh, we know specs is don'ts. Basically, it's everything. Do you have don'ts? I'm really quite open. Right. Um, in terms of a absolute no. Like, okay, so like, the thing is, I like I like a bit of like rough sex. Not always, but I do. So like, I like a bit of hair pulling, spanking, bit of like slap it, you know, like hair tell me. Pulling. Yeah, what do you, what do you think I have all this? I pull your hair while we're having sex. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a leash. Like, it's like what you can hold on to, like a cat went from like you behind, remember, like. his, his angles. <laughs> right, so when you're in missionary, you yeah. can like <laughs> pull it up into, pull her into you maybe well, girl, with the, it. The girl that I'm dealing with now, she's got um. Bold <laughs> so <laughs> if we're saying spank, I get it. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm gonna be pulling, man. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I so, like you know, you could be a sex therapist one day, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's the next phase. You know, you're it's like you're reading my mind. I actually have thought about that because, like, low key, like as an escort, we're like therapists. Yeah. As it is, like you guys have no idea. Like we go into a two-hour booking, and it's like. I'm all of a sudden hearing all your trauma and all about your family and your second removed cousin and their fling with your uncle and like you know it's like you've just heard so like you're literally a therapist so I actually have thought of like you know what I'm so good at listening I'm like I should be a sex therapist that could be super you're gonna you're gonna help me this year you're gonna help me this not year. for free that's a big this feels like a big first project like this I think is that's like a big thing if, if I if I eat or do a 67 <laughs> Because of Nick. <laughs> Wait, he is in an L shape. So, so you're the seven. <laughs> no more missionaries, no more L shapes. <laughs> because of Nikki. Boy, I owe you, man. I would be really, really happy with that. Because I'm just here to, like, you know, spread love, make people happy, make their sex more enjoyable, make them feel turned on, you know, help yeah, I them come. I need, I need to improve my sex game, but my sex game is doing very well right now. But I can do better. 
When when it comes to like posting, right? Mm-hmm. Specs, me and Specs argue a lot. He doesn't post enough on his channels of his content to entertain his audience with good content. Uh, and then every now and then he'll go on a run of posting a load of content. How much is, when when do you figure out how much is enough to release? Oh God, I think I'm still figuring that yeah. out. I think I could, like, I'm sure if I had a manager, they would give me hell. They'd be like, Nikki, you're so inconsistent, yeah, like yeah. specs, like, right, yeah. like I'm up and down because I'm very much like, I do it because I enjoy it. So if I feel like, oh, I should get content out this week, that's when I'm like, fuck it, I'm not yeah. doing it because I feel obligated and that's, good and bad so i don't know the sweet spot like Mm. i have i have a lot of content on my only fans after only a couple years and like i actually give all of my older content is included in my subscription price which is like really really good um so i've got like so much stuff on there and i still feel like oh i need more uh i think so long as my bills are paid i'm happy i'm not overworked and my yoni is happy. That's what's important. Your like, what is ho- happy? My yoni, my vagina. Oh, that's a brilliant name, yoni. I'm gonna. You just airdrop that to me as well, man. <laughs> yoni. It's important. Amazing. <laughs> see that sounds. See, I'll eat a yoni. <laughs> Not even pom pom though. I'll eat a yoni. Yoni sounds like there's no information with that. This delicate little beautiful. Delicate. It's nice. But like yeah. you know, you want. The thing is, let me just say for your first yoni eating experience, please, for the love of God, whoever it is, just make sure that it's someone who has a healthy diet and eats a lot of like fruit and stuff because they'll taste naturally sweeter. They'll be so nice. And just huh? like, I have to taste yeah. this stuff. What the f- are you talking about? What else are you going to do? Oh, so I'm going to be I, plugging I, your nose. Like, no, I, 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 all I, I, right, I, I, sweetheart. <laughs> I, I, I was just, I was just, you know, like, you know, eat, eating yoni to pleasure. I didn't know I had to taste and tell her how, what uh, it tastes. Well, you're like. going to taste it by licking it. I was just going to swallow. Just swallow it or whatever. I didn't, I didn't want to... See, this is what I'm... This, I wonder if he's ever seen a vagina. He's got I, kids. I really he's got kids. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you got a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? This is... This is... This is... A bit, bit more salt. I didn't, I didn't know it was like that. I didn't know it was like that. How did you think it was? Eating your only, I thought it was just, you know, for her to explode or get into the mood. I didn't know it was for me to taste. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna taste it. Like, I just, I'm I'm just saying like people's, for everyone listening as well, like your diet has such a big impact on the way you taste men and women. Like there's some guys where like I've tasted their cum and like honestly wanted to puke. Like it just tastes like mercury and like absolute, like, like sour cream chips or like something like crisps. Just like, it just like can taste so bad. Whereas like someone with a healthy diet will taste nice. And I'll be like, mm, yes, Poppy, like feed me more. <laughs> like I'm hungry. <laughs> so that's a whole different experience. So I'm just saying for your first time, like I hopefully it's someone with like a good diet and a nice tasting yoni juice. No one's ever told me how my cum tastes. I've never heard that before. Yuck, never, never got that before. <laughs> Must taste bad. <laughs> hey, bo- if the bald head missus is watching now, uh, you better tell me the truth. Cause my diet plan is is, is, is okay. It's not. It's not. What? Everyone likes to taste the chips. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard someone say I don't like chips. If you don't like chips, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you you ha- you have targets. I've spoken to you about goals and achievements. You achieved a lot in 2022 what what do you set as your targets this year this year this year i want to really focus on creating quality over quantity in terms of my content meaning like focusing more on the filming process production teams like all the production value and less focus on oh my god i need to get a scene out Mm. right like it's i feel like a lot of people get stuck in this trap of just like setting up your camera, your iPhone, whatever, every day, every two days, filming with someone new, getting new content out, blah, blah, blah. And good big ups to them. Like, I love the hustle. But for me, I want to focus on, like, doing some new things, setting myself apart, and just showing, like, quality in my content. Do you remember, I don't know if it's happened since, in, like, during lockdown in 2020, there was that leak, all the OnlyFans content leaks, and there was terabytes of content. Has that happened since you've been uh, making content? Not yet. Yeah, so I'm, sure, yeah. I'm sure it's secure these days. 
I'm that sure was mad though. That day, that day, like Dylan did. He was he, he wasn't with us. I don't know how he got my number, but he <laughs> he wanted those files. Is there a girl called Vanessa Jones there? <laughs> no, no, no. She's my cousin. Yeah, right. And yeah, man, views went up on a lot of things. <laughs> well, and I don't know if you saw this, but like the number one search, like the number one trend on Pornhub was like incestual. Like that went through the roof. Well, say, say that word again. Incestual. What does that mean? Like having sex with family members. Having sex with family members. Like you know the, the, the hot stepsister. Like you're like like she's like. Oh, oh yes yes I yes. I just yes, got yes. out of the shower and my like you know yeah <laughs> you're like oh yes I I know. I liked um, BDSM. <laughs> we don't have to say it like that. <laughs> what? What was it? BDSM. What's it called? Is it BS? Is it is, is it, it is BDSM. Yeah, I like I'm that. Just, yeah. I like that. I like yeah, BDSM. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, but you, but yeah, you hair pulling, that's part of being like you yeah, know. Yeah, well, you know, on your on your thumb, you could just skip and slide. <laughs> uh-huh. I skip. A, I, I I skip a lot of things. I skip a lot. So of do things. you like a dungeon scene? I've got I've got a dungeon scene actually. It's quite fun. Mm-hmm. I ain't seen a dungeon scene. Dungeon. I've seen a cell scene. Is the dungeons where they dress up as like? It's like where you go into the room and there's like all the like apparatuses and whips and chains and it's oh no, it's a oh, sex no, no, dungeon, that, you know? that, that, that for me there's too much in the stadium right <laughs> yeah but right. I, you know what i do like <laughs> i do like the one where they're in the glory hole but the ones that is in czech republic and stuff because <laughs> there's, there? there's mummies everywhere up, up there and you gotta climb so the guys will climb have you seen it they'll climb up there <laughs> hang off a scaffolding <laughs> and be the version the mummy i like i like the glory hole <laughs> She Bang TV. Okay. You see, have you, have you heard of that? It's, it's, it's British. It's a crowd. Yeah, listen, put your hand up. Listen, see the crowd doing this? <laughs> no, I've never heard of that. <laughs> so She Bang TV, they're in this like, they're just in this like little room. And um, it's most of them like babe station girls. So what I like is the, when you go on your TV on Sky, you got babe, tele, you got babe station girls, the ones that are, they're just doing the worm on the screen with all these <laughs> phone numbers, yeah? But they've also got scenes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just looking at all the numbers. <laughs> I'm like, nah, man. There's more to you. There's more to you than behind them behind those phone numbers. And there's a scene called Shebang TV where they're actually in this little room and they're slamming in the babe station room. Yeah, right. but they don't show it on TV. Uh, no. So I get backstage <laughs> access. Can. I get backstage <laughs> access. That's why I love it so much. But check it out, Shebang TV. I shouldn't even tell you, that was meant to be my thing, but it's cool, I passed that anyway. I'm on to Nikki Cruz's OnlyFans now. And uh, where, where should people discover you? So at the minute, um, the only platform I sell my videos on is OnlyFans, actually. Um, I don't have any, I'm not selling anything on many vids or any of these other platforms. So right now, OnlyFans, my socials are, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I do have, I, I am on TikTok. I have been so AWOL there for a while. It's terrible, but we'll be back. Um, but that's it for now. And then I'll, I do escorting as well. So um, when you search me, um, those profiles do come up for those interested in that as well. The best sex I've ever had in my life, right, <laughs> is mattress on the floor. Second is a hammock. Do <laughs> <laughs> you laughing? Do you remember? Do I remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I sent a voice note to you and Jordy. said, boys, I just had sex with a hammock. I, unfortunately, it was I the, do remember it that. It was yeah. the best. <laughs> oh, my God. Every Missionary time, hammock? Every t- no, like proper. And the hammock was in, indoor. We made the hammock indoor. I think he's talking about sex wing. Yeah. Hmm? Sex wing? What's the difference between sex wing and hammock? Okay, so the hammock went that way, right? Mm-hmm. Were you facing this way or were you on top facing that way? Was were was she sat L? on it <laughs> with her legs down? Okay, because you so you believe me, right? Yeah, I, I can't picture it, but yeah, sure. Well, she's confirmed this sex in a hammock too, so it has to. <laughs> she's be, confirmed yeah. that it was sex in a hammock. <laughs> it's, too. It has to. Be, it, it has to be in a hammock, but it was. There was. There was some uncomfortable parts, but the missionary for me was interesting. You know what? I've never had hammock sex, so never. I've got one on you. Uh, for, yes, I've got one on you for once. You amazing. Have. The hammock was amazing. It was amazing, honestly. Oh my gosh. But just, just to wrap it, um, 
yeah, a lot of sex workers sell um, different bodily fluids and stuff online. You could sell bodily fluids. Me? Why? It's fluids. You need. Oh, yeah, you need more revenue streams. Yeah, I could sell. So I could sell my my swimming cells. My what? Well, I could sell my sperm on. Yeah. Because it's just chips, right? And chips. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Chip seasoning. <laughs> the taste. The taste. If, in case you, you know, oh some people God. like to things dry. Chips is dry. You know, you never know. But I would. Yeah, I would definitely. I would definitely sell my um. Bath water. No, I w- no, I wouldn't sell. Pubic I would, hairs. I would sell my sting that was. Yeah. <laughs> They, they can, yeah, you can really use it as weapons. You got my money? <laughs> ah! I don't care. Like, if I decide I want to do OnlyFans tomorrow, I will, you know? Um, because it's all about exploring, life short. Uh, yet, and yet you're the most disciplined, strict, rule-ridden yeah, sexual partner <laughs> any woman that. could hope to I'm, have. It's called inexperience. <laughs> I'm inexperienced, that's all. Yeah, how many kids? Yeah, but I'm 24 years old. Like, I still got. <laughs> when, on my 30th birthday, I'll be somebody. <laughs> I'll be that taste guy. Her, her pussy tastes like spaghetti. <laughs> her yoni smells like flipping lasagna. <laughs> but this one, scorn beef. <laughs> you see a doctor, but I'll tell you that now. Nah. That was the greatest ever episode of the No Rules Show. Of course it was Nikki Cruz is the guest. Make sure you follow, follow her on Twitter. Follow All her. links are on screen and in the description. Um and pay for her OnlyFans because sex workers deserve money and a lot of that industry is undercut by streaming platforms and it becomes difficult. And that's right. And uh Rashid Shakur is actually watching it, you guys watching these uh, X videos and stuff who are exploring all these videos when really you should be signing and paying. So if they come to your door, there'll be huge fines. And if you can't pay it, you'll be in jail. Yeah, it's worse than not paying for Sky Sports. That's right. Yeah. It's exactly the same as this guy has got the file. <laughs> the the fire boxes, whatever you want to call them. That's right, T. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, when it comes to creators like myself, we spend money to put the content out there for you. So yeah. that's why. It's yeah. not, you know, I sure it doesn't cost much to prop an iPhone up. But the laundry is expensive. The hotel room is expensive. The travel. I just met up with this person. I'm also exposing my whole body for you on camera. Like, that's all. That's what it comes down to. It's not that I, we're we're so we're money hungry, just rolling in the riches, and we're like these, you know. It's things. exclusive, man. Exclu- it's exclusive. Well, thank you, Nikki. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I had the chance to be. Able- Did that touch the? No, no, no. Just a Ooh, bam. smooth. <laughs> I ain't gonna wash my hands for two weeks. I'm gonna use you tonight. <laughs> you understand? Well, you, you can't hear me. This one's got bad ears. Can I spit on it? You wanna spit on it? <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get the cameras off. It's gonna spit on it right now. <laughs>